back at it again episode 16 with my neighbor zap again so it turns out he's going to be my fourth person for the upcoming tournament we just have to schedule what weekend we want to run it but yeah we should have our second monthly tournament coming up soon so look out for that it's hella hot right here. Um, I'm recording this at 2 p.m. So you might hear my fan down here. Maybe, maybe not. But we are gonna hop on. He's online. He's online. I'm going to... We're gonna do two quick battles. He was using baby baby roaring moon before we'll use Zorok for the first one and then I might fuck around with R Raging Bolt my third deck we might give him a little Raging Bolt action for the second game back to friends Good luck, have fun, homie. Yeah, I'll use my this deck for the first one. And then we'll run Raging Bolt. After this one. Drachi and Squawk ability. What's sad is I have a good hand, you know. To use Squawk ability's ability, I'd be throwing away double turbo energy. But that's the only downside. Everything else is pretty discardable. So. Mm, I think that might be the route I want to go. I don't think I have a choice. We're gonna want to get booted up ASAP, so I might have to use Squawk Abilities. Squawk Ability? Oh. Uh, might have to use his ability. I hate getting rid of a double turbo energy, though. But. Yeah, my boy's getting booted. My boy's getting booted up. Come on, there's the Zorark. Nice. There, now, now I could do this. Okay, this makes this works out fine. Um, give me a switch. Yeah, we don't have a switch. Damage pump. Another Zorark is nice. Ultra Ball. Oh, fuck. Fuck, I should have used the Great Ball first. We're gonna want the damage pump. I'm gonna want to switch card ASAP. Or some way to get Squawk Ability out of the uh, active. But yeah, he has that Roaring Moon on the bench. We're gonna have to take that boy out ASAP. Mm.
Oh, here he goes. We haven't seen any baby roaring moons yet, so. There we go. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Restart. Nice. I would like a prime capture. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That works. Jet energy up there, maybe. Let's get these Gengars on the bench now. We have here boss's orders. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, yeah, but how do I follow that up? Boss's orders bring the fat one out. <laughs> kind of dumb of me to put damage right there. Um, 180, we're not quite not. We could have knocked it out had I put damage on something else other than to do it. That was a misplay on my part. But the thing is, if he knocks me out, if he uses his first attack, his primary attack, he'll knock himself out too, so we'll see what he does. But yeah, I did misplay. I should have used, um, I should have put damage on this card. Getting the baby booted up. He has a lot of energy in his deck, man. I gotta. Wow, he has four on the board. He actually killed himself. Okay. Interesting. Three and discard, four on the board. Damn, I was about to say, give me a prime capture, please.
Pokemon, VMAX. We want to put an energy here for later. Cypher Maniac. I'm going to want a V-Star here. No, no, no. Prime Catcher, please. Yes. No, no, no. Let's... Oh, I have a uh, maximum bell in this deck. <laughs> okay, fuck. Fuck. Boss's orders. Uh, next best thing, right? And then, uh, B star. I think that's the way to go. Right? That's not the worst thing in the world. Okay. Take a Greninja, we take a prize. He's gonna revenge kill with um, Roy Moon, I assume. No, he can't kill me. He can't. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Six, seven. Yeah, he can't kill me. I think we're in a good position. I think I'm doing all right. Three degrees today. It would have helped getting a maximum belt out for these all um, two nineties worth seating scene. orders 280 yeah we're missing damage I think we could kill this boy at any time, right? We could kill this boy at any time. Maybe we start chipping down these Roaring Moons. They're both equal, though. Attack this, wipe this off, take a prize card, and we'll use boss's orders to clean something up. We could clean up the Mew EX, I think, right? Save the boss's orders for a confirmed kill. Fucking Cypher Maniac, what a strong card being able to pretty much put any card in the deck. Combined with Dodrio, yeah. Being able to put boss's orders on top of my deck and then draw it immediately, that's so cool. That is so cool, man. Cypher Maniac, I love you. Dadly card right here. Dadly fucking card. 
I don't know what my opponent could do. He knocks me out, but I just boss his orders. I boss his order, but Miyugu, next turn and win. Oh, Prime Catcher. I don't think, I don't think any of this matters. You know it does matter because I'm stuck with this Gengar in the active now. So. That was a good play. That was a good play. He's stalling for turns. And there's not much I can do about it. You know what, that was probably a bad play, because now I could set his Roaring Moon up for a stronger attack. He'll be doing 220 instead of 100, so that was not the brightest thing for me to do. I need to figure out how to get this Gengar out of my active. Yes! Ha! <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, well, there we go. GG. Oh, man, yeah, that should be GG for sure. Right, I didn't use a... Uh, yeah. Oh, there, there we go. Yeah, there we go. GG's, my friend. Pazow. Let me text him. I gotta use the restroom. So we'll get started with the second episode momentarily. I gotta say, I'm very, um, that was very cool of him to bring out that Gengar. He was trying to buy himself some turns, and I got lucky. I got lucky I used Dodrio and got that switch, right? So, bring out that Gengar. Okay, but yeah, that's that's that. So I'll be back after using the restroom. Oh, GG's Zap. Much love. <laughs> 